am at Brafe Engineering Limited in Ipswich and I'm going to talk to Pat about your journey into engineering, but especially your transition from free axis machine tools to this Grob G350T. Now, yeah. Pat, tell us about your journey. Okay, so I started off here um, eight years ago as an apprentice. Um, I was on a, a, a lathe, a CNC lathe. Uh, I then progressed on to running two CNC lathes, uh, then over to uh, a, a horizontal mill. Um, when I was asked the question, do I fancy a challenge? And with that, I, I scratched my head and asked what the challenge was. Found out what it was and instantly said yes without any regret at all. Um, so yeah, over the, over the course of eight years, I've, I've, I've transitioned from, say, a CNC lathe to a five axis. Well, this is a five axis simultaneous with turning capability. Yep. Were you scared when you got given this challenge? I mean, prior to this, what was your, you know, what kind of machines did you work on, three axis wise? Okay, so was I scared? I was scared, I'm not gonna lie about it, but you have to embrace these things. Um, so prior to this, you know, the, just a normal lay, the horizontal mill. Um, so coming onto this was a big transition. Um, still taking a lot to get used to. I haven't learned it all yet, obviously. Um, but every day you learn something new. So what, what are you actually, uh, what, are your, what is your actual task on this machine? Are you programming? Are you setting, operating? At the minute we're using SolidCam, uh, which is my, get, my, my ideal game changer. I want to learn that. I want to be able to program my own jobs onto here and then run them. Um, at the minute I do not. I can, I can make small changes and program small changes on here, but the majority of the work is solid cam. Um, so going forward, that is something I really want to embrace. With the programming directly into the machine with the Siemens, how are you finding that? Is it easy? It is very, it's conversational. Um, it's basic quick code. It's asking you questions, you fill in the gaps and you know, it's, it's good, it's very good. Now, it must have been a bit of a, a surprise really when you kind of see this kind of configuration where yeah, yeah. the bed is going upside down and the yeah. part shall I say yeah. is upside down yeah. you know was that a bit daunting it was um, so like I say when I got asked do I want to take this challenge on the machine hadn't arrived and I had in front of me on a piece of paper the words Grob G350T what did I do I YouTubed it and it was it was mind-blowing you know when you look at it, what it is now, upside down, and you see all the five axis movements, it's... it's. Was it as scary as you thought it was? Scary at first, but no, it's not no more. I've embraced it. Is it easy? It. I would never say, I'd never say, without being cocky, it, it's getting easier. Yes, it's, 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 it's a friendly machine, absolutely. Right. You know, once you embrace it and you respect the machine, it's a good machine. Now you're doing milled and turned parts on yep, there. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about the spec of the machine in, in regards to the RPM of the turning spindle, the okay. spindle speed of the okay. milling spindle? Yeah, okay, so uh, we'll start with the, with the weight of the uh, table there. She can hold uh, 350 kilos. The table RPM is 1200 and the spindle speed is 16,000. And what about the spindle? now? In, with this configuration, what are the benefits of having the part uh, upside down? And what are the benefits of the, of the spindle, the milling spindle, being in, built into the machine on the box guideways? Okay, so firstly, with the, with, the, with the capability of being able to go upside down, you can get rid of the swarf ingress, get rid of the swarf easier. Um, and having the, the spindle mounted like that, it just adds to rigidity. As long as you keep your tooling short, you've got a very rigid, capable machine. And the parts that you do here obviously need to be held and, and you've got your own foundry and some of the parts are quite hard to hold. Now, holding up to potentially up to 350 kg upside down, you yep. need to have confidence in the work holding. We do, we do indeed. Um, at the minute we are using Shunk. Uh, it's it's, an incredible, it's a, an incredible work holding device. Uh, we have the Shunk chuck and the Shunk uh, table clamping system there and it's, it's second to none, it's incredible. For any engineers out there that would fear kind of embracing a machine tool such as this because it's a little bit different, yep. it may be a bit daunting, what would be your advice? Go for it, grab it with both horns, don't be intimidated because 
it will click one day and when it does you'll you'll really get on with it. Pat, thank you very much. Thank you.